We saw many different sides of Hilton in this wide-ranging interview, including a little bit of a touchy side. Paris Hilton was the first, the original celebutant, practically the inventor of that thoroughly modern phenomenon, being famous for being famous. Now, though, this particular marketplace has become rather crowded with people like Hilton's former protege and sometimes frenemy, Kim Kardashian, eating up a lot of the oxygen. Try bringing any of this up with Hilton, however, and things get a little tense. Do you ever worry about your moment having passed? You want to wrap up? We'll show you how this situation resolved itself in a moment, but first, let's go back to the beginning of our interview, which took place at Hilton's newly renovated house in Los Angeles. Can we maybe put the cat away? Because it's, it's Things started on a playful note with no fewer than three interruptions from one or another of her 17 house pets. When things finally settled down, Hilton opened up about one of the major downsides of fame, stalking. James Brian Rainford was arrested outside her home on July 4th. He is the same man who attacked her now ex-boyfriend in April outside a courthouse where Hilton was going to testify against another stalker. Who is this guy? Who is that? Oh my god, that's another intruder who came to my house on a bike. So, to have this individual repeatedly harassing you, how unsettling is that? It's very unsettling because you don't know what frame of mind someone is like that who now four times has tried to get in contact with me and he keeps getting in trouble for it, yet he keeps coming back. So obviously there's something wrong with him. Next, the conversation turned to Hilton's on-screen persona, where she talks either in a baby voice... I'm going to name her Lady Coco Chanel. ...or in a tone somewhere between a whine and a whisper. No. Here, she made an unusual admission. Is it true that when you're not on camera that your voice drops and you're much more serious? Definitely. I think it's a character that I developed for The Simple Life. They wanted someone who is an airhead and kind of had the baby voice, so that's a character that I had to do and continue to do for five seasons. Um, so sometimes when I'm on, on camera, it, I'll revert back to it a little bit, just because I'm so used to it, because I did it for so long. Hilton is actually the head of a global business with stores in 31 countries, selling everything from handbags to beauty products to perfumes. She's got 13 cents, which, according to her publicists, have made more than a billion dollars. Why do you work so hard? I like being able to do whatever I want, to buy whatever I want, and to not have to ask for permission from my parents, like I've seen some of my other friends who, you know, they're adults, but they live like children. But while Hilton, who turned 30 in February, is eager to show the world that she's a grown-up now, her new reality show, The World According to Paris, on the Oxygen Network, shows her engaged in her usual hijinks. Inhabiting an ecosystem where paparazzi are as omnipresent as pigeons in Manhattan, where shopping is the dominant form of hunting and gathering, and where assistants are treated as a subspecies. Where is my other boxes, Lexi? The show does have some serious, even searing scenes. And you were my first baby. But while it has revealing moments, the ratings have been dismal, which has many entertainment writers asking whether Hilton's run, which started at age 16, may now be over. Do you worry at times that the people who have followed in your footsteps, uh, like Kim Kardashian, are overshadowing you? No, not at all. There's been some talk about the ratings in the show being low. Um, has that upset you? No. Never a feeling of, do you ever worry about do you ever worry about your moment having passed? <laughs> you want to wrap up? But I, when I was curious about one thing going back to... What followed was a long, heated conversation with Hilton and her publicist. Well, I don't want all this being used. After which she agreed to speak with me again. I've been in this business for 15 years now, so it's been a very long time. And just like any other business person or someone in the industry, it's always important to reinvent yourself and come up with new projects. That's an entire house filled with dogs?